Amethyst has a full range of IntelliSense features. There's code completion for ActionScript and for MXML, and the completion list has two panes. You can focus in on items defined for the current object, or you can view all the members available both from the object and from its ancestor classes. And you can even use code completion when you're in a debugging session. For example, here I've stopped at a breakpoint and I've gone into the watch window and as I enter the names of identifiers, the code completion list lets me pick variables, properties, and so on. And I can do the same in the immediate window. And you aren't restricted to displaying just simple data items. You can even pick and execute methods, like this one. IntelliSense also provides highlighted parameter tips. So when I write a method call, here I'm in my adventure game and I'm writing cave.init, the IntelliSense provides parameter tips showing the arguments and their types as I enter them. IntelliSense is provided both for your own ActionScript code and for the classes and methods in pre-compiled libraries. For example, file reference is defined in Adobe's flash.net package. I don't have the source code for that, but I still get IntelliSense. Amethyst even lets me go to the definition of a class for which I don't have the source code. In that case, it constructs a code file from the class metadata to show all the public class members. Of course, if I have the source code, go to definition goes to the actual code. And if I want to find all references to a class, method or variable, I use the find all references tool. Other ways of navigating source code include the nav bars at the top of the code file or the object browser. And that lets you view and go to your classes and methods or to the metadata of compiled libraries. The IntelliSense for compiled libraries, SWC files, is derived from these reference nodes in the Solution Explorer. This is just like the IntelliSense for .NET languages, which is derived from DLL references. Amethyst adds the appropriate reference nodes for different projects, Flash, ActionScript, Flex3, Flex4, and so on. But if you need to add more IntelliSense from some specific libraries, you can just browse and add them. If you use code completion to add a class or method that needs to be imported from another package, the import statement is added automatically. If you don't use code completion for this, you can auto-add the import by right-clicking and making a menu selection. If you want to sort your import statements or auto-remove any imports that are no longer needed, you can do that from a menu too. There are various options you can set to control the finer details of Amethyst's IntelliSense. These let you turn completion on or off whenever you start entering code. You can limit the types of items shown in the completion list. You can toggle selection of items using the spacebar or when certain specified characters are entered. And you can decide whether to show snippets in the list and auto-expand snippets when the tab key is pressed. Snippets are auto-expanding code templates. You can either right-click and select them from a list, or if you have the tab expansion option enabled, you can just enter the snippet shortcut, typically a name such as for, and press the tab to expand it. Snippets may have editable areas so that you can change values and identifiers. Amethyst comes with a dedicated snippet editor to make it easy to create and edit new or existing snippets. And once again, we've got a separate tutorial on that topic. For more information and tutorials on Amethyst, go to the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.